Hi, we're back in for our December Ask the Experts session. If you've got any questions, you're welcome to enter them in the chat section below. Uh, you can join the bridge um, and, uh, and talk live here, or you can give me a call on the line here, 516-282-2812. Today's content is going to be about Video Center. So I'm going to just uh, fire that up and talk to the team that I have here in the room about Video Center. And the next thing I'll do is wireless content sharing. Oh, I'm going to turn it on. Bryce and Rojan, both of you have used We Present before. Have you used the wireless content sharing? It, it may have been way in the beginning, so I'm not sure you guys know. I got a no from Ro Rojan. What about a, what about from you, Bryce? No, I don't think so. Okay, uh, we'll get to that in uh, a moment because I think it'll be good for you to uh, to know how to use that one. So. share the other screen so you can see it. So it's an app that I've already downloaded. It connects to this wireless content sharing thing that we've got here on the, in the system. And then, like most of these content sharing things, it's going to want to change my resolution so it matches, so we don't have any issues. A lot going on here. Close some of this stuff out. You'll both want to remember this IP address because it'll come around to your computers uh, and uh, put that in so dot two four zero. And obviously, our super secret passcode of two two five five is used here. This now then sends my laptop wirelessly to the screen. Um, so in the video system, uh, in the ask the experts, they're seeing this exact same um, uh, this exact uh, same screen share. So if I go back to Video Center, which is really the point of today, um, there's some cleanup that can be done uh, by anyone who's logged in and you both have logins to this. What we typically like to do um, is go in and any of the ones that are default recording or don't have names to them, uh, glance at them and see if they're worth keeping and then rename them and add them to the to the correct channel or place them in the correct channel. So this is that one that I did a few minutes ago and I basically turned this into a happy holidays message. So to, to modify this one, and it does require flash, so I don't really need to see it in order to modify it. But this is because I use the ask the experts key, it already pre-populated uh, the information about Ask the Experts. I want to use this as something different. So uh, you guys can get into the cycle of logging in to Video Center on a weekly basis and editing and moving videos to the right location, depending on content. And if you're not sure, it should come up on Monday's team call. Um, or you could send out a, a message to Mike or me. It's mostly Mike and Randy that do a lot of uh, content. Uh, so again, this is a, an existing video that's been saved. Um, so I'm just going to change the title to PVC Happy Holidays message. I can stay the owner, but then you can do some tags. So I can do Holidays 2017. Add our 
my main number and support. And I'm fine with putting this in the, keeping this on the main channel, but notice we've got various delineations for products we sell and things that we do. And the main one is just kind of a catch all. Um, if this was a, uh, a demo, we could put it in there. If this was related to hatch, we could put it in there. So there's various different things we can do uh, or place these videos. So you can see some customer related stuff. Uh, but I'm just going to keep it in the main page. We don't have to share videos um, publicly. We don't have to allow um, commenting. And if I hit save, that Happy Holidays video is now at the home page. One of the things I might want to do if I go back to that, is I might actually want to add it to the carousel up top. So uh, if I go to that message again, it's not on that carousel. And I can do this, I can feature this video on the home page. So if I check that, which I'm going to do now, that is now featured on the home page. Go back to the home, scroll through my carousel, you'll see that one. Cute little Lonnie. And there's our happy holidays message. It's been added in. Yeah. So an easy way for us to kind of poke through and modify what content is there. Uh, more importantly, we've got a number of um, recordings that are uh, generally uh, act. Sometimes I'll fat finger or Mike will fat finger or we'll be in the middle of something and someone will cough. So here's that meeting yesterday, Rojan, that we did that was really customer related um, and how to change the uh, SSO single sign-on integration to cloud. So I just hit zero and use the default recording. Um, instead, um, and I think I showed content during this meeting. Yeah, so when you show content, notice that the users have the ability to toggle through the different sizes. So this is the training I did on SSO. And I happen to like that mm -hmm. as a image. And I see that that's 17 seconds into the video. So if I actually prefer that as a layout, I can do no tags. I'm going to change the thumbnail. And the thumbnail I want to use is 17 seconds in. Far enough in, so let's do 30, because I know I have content. And I think it might need to be a colon 30, so it knows that it's 30 seconds. Yeah, enter a whole number, fine. Time in seconds you want before capturing the screen for the thumbnail. So it's liking the image, not the content. 100 seconds in. All right, at least we're smiling in that one. What I should have done if I wanted um, to do content, I would have just needed to change my input on the camera like I'm doing now on this um, particular unit. So I'm suppressing my video feed. Um, if you guys want to walk around, you can always change the input um, on the on this video system. So, um, so right now, this is what's being recorded and streaming on Act on on Ask the Experts. I just hit the input button on the icons. You do this slightly different. You just go to the camera and change. So instead of doing camera, because we have camera one, I have the second camera, the 10x camera, or I can change my input to. PC. That way there, the thumbnail image is more like this than it is of the video feed. So back to editing this one. This is really not a, a default recording. This is a training for 
uh, life size cloud single sign on. So. C-T-K-A, I think. So you can just put whatever keywords you want in there because that metadata stays with the video. So if we ever did an embed and share, anything we put in here becomes part of the embedded keywords. Okay, so. So. This allows user to log into their workstation and then log into life size. So I don't want this on the main page. I think I would want that in the life size cloud folder. I'm fine with sharing that with all. Um, don't necessarily need people to be able to download it. We don't need them to comment, but I'm going to leave that on. Um, and hit save. Um, so then now that changes the channel where that sits. It changes the name and it puts it in an appropriate location. So if we ever go back to that and send it to a customer, we have the option through this embed and share. Again, it's share with all so they wouldn't need a password. On those videos that we have passwords, we can send uh, the video link and then give them a password or send them an embedded link that has the authentication in it. So again, if it's a private video that you want to share with a particular customer, you can cut and paste this video link without authentication. Now again, because we chose share with all, this particular video is available to view. Um, what we have at, at the, the home page of Video Center is a decent amount of cleanup that needs to be done on other default recordings. So this is a two second one, looks like a mistake to me. All right. I don't know anything about it. Yeah, so this is the same time yesterday. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that one. So on a weekly basis, this is what I'd like you guys to do. Go in uh, and maybe even just do it together for the first couple of weeks um, where you're looking at videos, deciding whether or not they're worth keeping and ultimately then make a decision about what videos stay or go. Make sense? Yeah. yeah, so it looks like we've got what we've got a couple from yesterday because I did some training for um, one of our customers. So this is a uh, a training yesterday uh, yeah for uh, a customer so I'm gonna edit that one. And I did two parts. So B life size training. And because they're in chronologically, this is obviously part two. put this in the life size folder. It's fine to share it with all, makes it easier for the end user to see it. I'm going to allow downloading just in case they want to put this mp4 in their own video world. So we'll end up by sending this to the customer. It's a useful recording for other customers to potentially see. So uh, there was a first version on that, so I go back into that one. I should verify that that's the one I actually want to modify. All right, a 25 second one, that one looks like a mistake.
I'm also going to show you a, a bulk delete in a moment because we have some videos in here that are for Hatch Day Harrison and we don't manage that facility anymore. So. The goal is I really prefer not to see any videos up here with just default recorded. Because this, um, this video center feeds to our support page. So when you go to perfectvc.com, internet is slow today, and you go to our knowledge base sometime today. That is video center. So um, essentially, uh, this is a an iframe around video center. Uh, customers come here; they'll be they won't be logged in, so they wouldn't see private content. So what we want to do is maintain the integrity of publicly facing content, and we're oftentimes recording things in a quick fix that are really private, and we need to go back in on a regular basis to make sure. Um, we're not accidentally making things that we've learned from our partners that's supposed to be confidential public. Now, we don't have a huge audience subscribing to this, so it's not like we're gonna, we're at risk of disclosing some massive trade secrets. We do video conferencing, right? So it's not, I mean, we're wonderful, but we're not magicians. Um, so. Right, I'm gonna edit the second part of this Silicon Valley bank one. This was part one. And we want to put this in a life size cloud folder. I'm going to allow downloading and commenting. So the rest of them become a little bit of cleanup. So here's a 30 minute one. So it looks like it's got something meaningful in it. So I'll just glance at it. Oftentimes, again, Mike will accidentally record. Uh, uh, meetings when someone else is already recording. So let me, I think this is probably, so this is a Jenny briefing. Um, probably better for us to put anything that we've got from our distributor um, behind a password. So I'm going to put this in the PVC knowledge, which by design, notice that I put it in a channel, it's marked for private, automatically takes away anyone other than a PVC with a login, right? And I'm going to disable some of the other features. So now that video is no longer propagated out on the main page. You'll only see it if you're logged in. Make sense? Yeah. All right, I don't know what this one is. Often nice by the look of the people and then I can figure out who's in the meeting. Yeah, this was another life-size briefing. This was the earlier one, so another one that should be private. So this is about the life-size professional services.
Again, probably better to put that in PVC knowledge. This one actually would be okay if it were um, generally available. So I could put something in, this is product knowledge of life size. Even though I put it in something that's share with all, I could also put it in private mode. So if I remove share with all, I then have to say who can see it. And I could say PVC direct. I can also choose by individual. Like if I just wanted Rojan to see it and Bryce to see it, right? I can choose who does or doesn't get to see it. So group membership generally needs to be maintained. Are all PVC members in the PVC direct? Uh, as I was typing there, I noticed Thomas Brankwitz's uh, name. It's probably he hasn't been deleted because he owns some video. So we should probably go into Thomas's videos and transfer all of those ownerships to me or to Rojan or to Bryce. Uh, yeah, so then uh, I see a few more default recordings. I'll let you guys take the first stab at, oh my gosh. I see a lot of default recordings. Uh, yeah, so this will need to be looked at uh, today to have you guys kind of get a sense of what's out there. Why, oh why, oh why. Thirty-seven, thirty-one. All right, there's a couple of quickies that look like they could go away. So this was a quick little Zoom one that I think should just go in the Zoom channel. The audio driver didn't like the wireless content sharing. Uh, yeah, so this was a Zoom uh, technical review. So for now, I'm just going to put that in Zoom. I'd have to listen to it to find out what it's really about. I'll let you guys do that, but we do have a Zoom channel, right? And that would be an internal. Uh, I'll let you guys listen to it, decide whether or not it be, needs to be private or not, but it's essentially those kind of things that need to be done. And if you're not sure, just put it on Monday's list for us to review together. Okay, okay. Um, no one else has dialed in from the Ask the Experts, so I'm gonna stop that piece.